It's time to be the bat. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Batman games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most successful and well-regarded video games starring The Dark Knight. But it bought us time. I misdirected him. Small comfort for the ones who died in my place. <sighs> Number 10, Batman The Telltale Series. After demonstrating that exploring the emotional frailties of a character was pretty much their bread and butter in hits like The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us, Telltale's episodic formula seemed like the perfect match for the Caped Crusader, and for the most part we weren't disappointed. Diving into the psyche of Bruce Wayne while also giving us some pretty badass moments as Batman, players were treated to an ongoing mystery surrounding the Wayne legacy, as well as a reimagining of some of the comic book icon's greatest villains. Oh, and we uh, totally had the option to bang Catwoman. Awesome! I was hoping for something more than that. Number 9, Batman Returns. Despite it pretty much boiling down to being a side-scrolling beat-em-up, this title is nonetheless a damn good side-scrolling beat-em-up. Then again, it does feature Batman, so that kind of automatically elevates it from mediocrity. With something of a sharp difficulty spike, the variety of enemies and bosses aren't the easiest to take down, requiring players to mesh button mashing with actual strategy if they want to win the day. All in all, this golden oldie is still a fun time worthy of the Dark Knight's name. Number 8. Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes Yes, it's Gotham's very own playboy philanthropist versus some bald guy from Metropolis. Taking the fun of the original and sprinkling it with some impressive voice casting and even an intriguing narrative, our second venture into the world of Lego Batman was nothing but a ton of fun. Aren't there people somewhere else that need your help right now? Yeah, actually there are. With 75 characters to play as in a vast brick-layered open world setting, not only did we get to enjoy all the bells and whistles that stemmed from the first game, but it was also a much funnier experience thanks to the brilliant voice work provided by actors like Troy Baker and Clancy Brown, all contained in a genuinely well-told and hilarious narrative. Who says that Batman always has to brood? Great work, Batman. I have to admit, I couldn't have done it without a little help from my friends. Uh, a little? Number 7. Batman Taking a page out of Ninja Gaiden's book, this classic on the NES in many ways helped lay the foundation for many future Batman games by having the Caped Crusader actually be able to leap around the stage while lashing out with all manner of bat gadgets, with this extra little bit of freedom. For the time, this put it far above other superhero-themed games, actually retaining some of the identity that viewers had seen in Michael Keaton's much darker portrayal of the character. It also gave us a series of then-unknown DC villains, in video game form anyway, such as Deadshot, Heatwave, and KG Beast. Hey, we all have to start somewhere. Number 6. The Adventures of Batman and Robin Fans of the masterpiece that was Batman the Animated Series were given quite a treat when this little number for the Super NES came out. Not only did it perfectly capture the feel of the show with its atmosphere and artistic style, but it also gave us a platformer that included both puzzles to solve and a whole slew of supervillains to chase down, as each of Batman's greatest foes had their own stage and unique set of challenges to overcome. Much like the show it was based on, the game upped the ante for the dynamic duo in the best way possible. <laughs> Number 5, Batman Arkham Knight. And Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. While not quite the ending that diehard fans were hoping for, the finale to Rocksteady's Arkham Trilogy was in no way a failure of a game. In fact, it was downright majestic. Whether by grapple gun or by Batmobile, we got to explore Gotham City in all of its macabre glory as we pursued various side quests that featured our favorite villains, all while having to contend with the remnants of the Joker's madness, as well as the threat of the enigmatic Arkham Knight, who's totally not the Red Hood, not at all. You're old, you're predictable, and you never stood a chance. Could it have been better? Yeah, sure. But there's no denying that no other entry in the series was packed with as much darkness and tragedy as this one. And we're not just talking about the original PC port. Number 4. Lego Batman The Video Game Hang on. 
<laughs> Taking the open world formula that had made the LEGO Star Wars game such a success, players were given freedom to mess around Gotham as a member of the Bat Family or as one of Arkham's most notorious inmates. It also featured a hefty campaign built to the brim with collectibles and secrets just waiting to be uncovered, all while assuming the mantle of a far more miniature, yet still quite awesome Dark Knight. <laughs> Number three, Injustice 2. You need to concentrate, Harley. What's up, thinking? Botany! Maybe English? Not at all what I meant. NetherRealm Studios' first Injustice game had already set a strong precedent for fighting games with engrossing stories, but Injustice 2 is where the studio truly brought their A game. Following up from the first game, Batman and a dictator version of Superman are forced into an uneasy alliance to stop Brainiac from abducting cities across the Earth. You are not exceptional. Merely an ordinary specimen of a primitive species. While it sounds like standard comic book fare, it's the interactions and friction between former Justice League members that gives comic book fans the DC equivalent of Marvel's Civil War that they've been waiting for. Dare we say that in the end, the story ends up being a far better Batman vs. Superman tale than Batman v Superman? Woo, shots fired. I miss the people we were then. Me too. Number two, Batman Arkham Asylum. Ooh, would you sneak in with your bats? Come on, tell me, tell me. Batarangs, bat claws. Taking the caped crusader out of the shadows and into the madhouse, the first entry in what would become the legendary Arkham trilogy took the gaming world by storm by delivering the definitive Batman experience. Up until that time, at least. I'm really not interested in a bunch of flowers, Ivy. Combining addictive and well-orchestrated combat, actual detective work, a mature narrative, as well as the return of the voice cast from the original animated series, we've never felt as beastly or as vulnerable as we did as we traversed the dark corners of Arkham with nothing but our wits, gadgets, and fists to protect us from its psychotic inhabitants. Whether for the action or the scares, we won't be forgetting our time in the asylum anytime soon. Everything you see is under my control. Number one. Batman Arkham City. Never been one it's to. Billionaire, Vicky. Millionaires are so last year. So, how do you improve upon perfection? By giving us everything we loved about Arkham Asylum, setting it in a more open world, and weaving it together with a thriving narrative that sees Batman battle against the Joker in a twisted but oh so fitting finale. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Trapped inside a city-sized prison with some of his most dangerous adversaries, the Dark Knight finds himself dealing with the devious ploys of Hugo Strange, the shadowy operations of the League of Assassins, as well as the Joker's last desperate gag. Combine this with some of modern gaming's best boss fights, plenty of meaty side quests, and hundreds of Riddler challenges to conquer, and you have, undoubtedly, Batman's finest hour. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.